Oh, here comes the excitement today. We got another good one for you. Let's look at the situation. We've got two outs runners on first and second, and we're going to talk about one of my favorites, the drop third strike or uncaught third strike. Let's take a look at the rule here to understand why this is in play, okay? So the situation is that in the rule book, we say that the third strike called by the umpire is not caught, providing first base is unoccupied or first base is occupied with two outs. So this allows the batter to become a batter runner. What? Why is that? Well, the reason why... Uh, first base needs to be unoccupied with less than two outs is because it gives the defense a really cheap shot at a double play. I mean, I can easily just accidentally, quote unquote, drop my third strike, and then the batter has to run to first base, but I can then quickly pick up the ball, throw it to second, at the sh- throw it to my shortstop at second, who then gets the force out and then throws the ball quickly over to first, and we got a cheap double play. So that's why the drop third strike is not in play with first base occupied with less than two outs because the, it just... Get, it takes away that cheap double play. But when they're two outs, then all bets are off, right? Because there's no no possibility of double play. Okay, so that's the rule there. So let's go ahead and roll the tape here and see what excitement ensues. Okay, so we're starting this from the, the batter with uh, no pitches thrown to him yet, and we're going to start him off with a strike. We'll give him a ball. So we got a 1-1 one, one count. Foul ball for 1-2. And then fantastic pitch. So a couple of thoughts here on what we're talking about. First off, first doesn't matter that first base was occupied. There were two outs, and so the drop third strike or uncaught third strike is in play here. Secondly, the base coach was out there uh, telling the umpire that he was inside the grass. Well, I mean, inside the batter circle is what he was intending to say, and what's the purpose for that? Well, let's take a look at the rule. A batter who does not realize the situation on third strike not caught and who is not in the process of running to first base shall be declared out once he leaves the dirt circle surrounding home plate. So the base coach knew this rule and so was reminding the umpire of the rule. And what ends up happening is a lot of discussion about this. which is kind of silly. It took this long, by the way, but he's awarded first base. Still a lot of communication going on, and here he says... So the umpire was clarifying that he didn't step out of the batter's box, or out of the batter circle, and he was not on the grass. So now we've got another situation here that arises... Um, and this is going back to the same rule. All right, let's pull it on up. If the pitch touches the ground and bounces through the strike zone, it is a ball. If such pitch touches the batter, he shall be awarded first base. All right, so that's what we're looking at here. So this is the uh, myth in youth baseball where if the ball hits the dirt and then bounces up and touches the batter, that it's actually not a hit by pitch. It's a dead ball. Well, that's not true. That's a myth. Here we go. Let's get started. So, sure, yeah, if it hits the ball, it hits the ground and it hits you, it's a dead ball. Yeah, it hits the batter, it's a dead ball. But what the umpire got wrong is that it's actually a hit by pitch and not a just simply a ball. Um, and the base coaches did not realize what had happened in this situation. They didn't think he'd been hit by pitch. They just thought it was a wild pitch that scooted away from the catcher. So the third base umpire is going to recognize this after one of the fans told him that it, it was a hit by pitch. So then we get a So then we get a mound conversation here and clarification and yep, he's awarded first base. And we got a rich comment coming here from the other coach. <laughs> yeah, I love that comment. <laughs> Yes, coach, we are playing baseball, not cricket.
<laughs> so go read the rules. All right. So new batter. We get strike one. And I'm showing this part of the video to help you see that the catcher actually learned from his mistake here. So we get a one, two count, swing and a miss, drop third strike, and he stomps on home plate to end the inning. So a lot of excitement there on that, right? Um, just know the rule um, on the drop third strike. First off, the home plate, the circle around home plate is, um, you know, you can, you can be confused there and still be inside there and still run to first base and be safe, Okay. And then obviously the ball that hits the ground and hits the batter is a hit by pitch. Unless he was swinging at it, and then that's a strike. All right, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy this video. More of them are yet to come.